So I'm done with my stand here in Inventor. Now I want to take it over to Inkscape so I can add some pretty decorations to it. So it's a drawing file. I need to export it as a PDF file. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going down to Export to PDF. File, Export, PDF. Again, save everything in your Google Drive. So let's pretend I saved everything in my Google Drive. Type in stand.pdf, hit save. All right, so now I'm going to open up Inkscape. So on your desktop computer. Actually, you can do it on your laptop also. If it's not there, if you scroll down and go to your start menu, go to all apps. If it is Inkscape is not there, I've got directions on how to install it with the software center. You can go to the start menu, type in software to get to the software center. Type in Inkscape, click on Inkscape, install Inkscape, then it'll be installed on your computer. Now the first time you open it, you will get this little welcome screen right here. What I would hit is start or time to draw. And then I would uncheck the show this every time button so that the screen doesn't pop every time, but then hit new document and that will open up a blank Inkscape page. I'm going to open up right here. All right, so here we go. Now yours might look a little bit different. Uh, I've got probably some extra stuff here. Let me just close these. All right. Uh, so Inkscape, the scroll wheel moves up and down. If you hold Control and use the scroll wheel, that zooms in and out. So, and if you click the scroll wheel like a button and hold it, that is your panning right there. So you have to hold Control to scroll wheel to zoom in. All right, so I'm going to go open. I'm going to open that PDF I just made. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Open, and I'm going to find that PDF I just made. Stand.pdf. I'm going to open it. You've got all these options here. Uh, you can just leave them. The one that might be important is this: replace PDF fonts by closest named installed fonts. So just make sure that's checked. It should be checked, but just make sure that's checked. And so here is my phone stand right here. Now if you still have some text on here, some dimensions on here, that's okay. We can delete stuff here in Inkscape if we need to. Um, so right now this is all treated as one thing. If I click on it, you see that highlights it. Um, I've got these little arrows. I can resize it. If I want to resize it and keep the dim keep the proportions. If I hold control on the keyboard, I can resize it and keep these proportions. But since I know I've already made these to the exact dimensions, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, if you need to edit anything, like if I wanted to get rid of this line, I can. But it is all grouped together. It's treating it all as one thing, so I need to first ungroup it. Now if I right click, I can go to ungroup. Now it doesn't look like it did anything. Sometimes you got to ungroup it a couple of times. So there's I ungrouped it again, and now you can see I've got all these separate parts. All right, you don't need to do that unless you need to make an adjustment or to delete something. Maybe you forgot to delete a line, or if there's text you need to delete. Um, that's how you do that. But what do we want to do? We want to add some. You could add some text here. You could add some pictures here. Let's go ahead and do that here.